Gadafloxacin is a fourth-generation fluoroquinolone used to treat a wide variety of infections in the body. In this video, let's find found. What is gadafloxacin? What is gadafloxacin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking gadafloxacin? How does gadafloxacin work? How to use gadafloxacin? What is gadafloxacin? Gadafloxacin is an antibiotic of the fourth-generation fluoroquinolone family that, like other members of that family, inhibits the bacterial enzymes DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4. It was patented in 1986 and approved for medical use in 1999. What is gadafloxacin used for? For the treatment of bronchitis, sinusitis, community-acquired pneumonia, and skin infections, abscesses, wounds, caused by S. pneumoniae, H. influenza, S. aureus, M. pneumoniae, C. pneumoniae, L. pneumophila, S. pyogenes. Contraindication You should not use this medicine if you are allergic to gadafloxacin or other fluoroquinolones, ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, ofloxacin, norfloxacin, and others. All drugs or conditions that prolong QD interval. Children below 1 year old. Side effects. More common. Eye irritation. Eye pain. Eye redness. Less common. Bloody eye. Decrease in vision. Swelling of the membrane covering the white part of the eye. Rare. Blistering, peeling, or loosening of the skin. Chills cough, diarrhea, itching, joint or muscle pain, red skin lesions, often with a purple center, red, irritated eyes, sore throat, sores, ulcers, or white spots in the mouth or on the lips, unusual tiredness or weakness, pharmacodynamic, Gadafloxacin is a synthetic broad-spectrum 8-methoxyfluoroquinolone antibacterial agent for oral or intravenous administration. It is bactericidal and its mode of action depends on blocking a bacterial DNA replication by binding itself to an enzyme called DNA gyrase, which is the untwisting required to replicate one DNA double helix into two. Notably, the drug has 100 times higher affinity for bacterial DNA gyrase than for mammalian. Gadafloxacin is a broad-spectrum antibiotic that is active against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It should be used only to treat or prevent infections that are proven or strongly suspected to be caused by bacteria. Mechanism of action The bactericidal action of gadafloxacin results from inhibition of the enzymes topoisomerase 2, DNA gyrase, and topoisomerase 4 which are required for bacterial DNA replication, transcription, repair, and recombination. Half-life 7 to 14 hours Dose Bacterial conjunctivitis Indicated for conjunctivitis caused by susceptible strains of the following organisms, Haemophilus influenza, Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Streptococcus mitis group, Streptococcus aurelis, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Zymars 0.3%. Days 1 to 2, instill 1 GTT to affected eyes, Q2HR while awake, up to 8 stay. Days 3 to 7. Instill 1 GTT to affected eyes up to QID. Zymaxid 0.5%. Day 1. Instill 1 GTT to affected eyes, Q2HR, while awake, up to 8, stay. Days 2 to 7. Instill 1 GTT bid QID on days 2 to 7. Other indications and uses. Conjunctivitis, blepharitis, acute mebomionitis, dacryocystitis. Safety advice. Gadafloxacin has been assigned to pregnancy category C by the FDA. Animal studies have revealed evidence of maternal toxicity, decreased fetal and placental weight, and delayed fetal skeletal ossification. That's all the information about gadafloxacin we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.